Oh, hey, how's it going? It's uh, been been a while, maybe five months since I last put anything on my YouTube channel. And on, I admit that is a long time, but it was a conscious choice. And just because it was an intentional choice does not mean it was an easy one. But I realized that if I did not make a change, I was probably going to wind up in the hospital again. So let's talk about it. Where did I go? What did I do? And what does this mean for the future of my YouTube channel? Well, first, let's start with the question you might be asking yourself, which is hospital? Yes, almost four years ago, I ended up in the emergency room with the right side of my body tingling. I was genuinely concerned that maybe I was having a stroke or something really serious was happening. And luckily I had really good care and I just, I had to stop. I had to actually just put a halt to everything, too many things going on in my life and just focus on my health. And after a break for about four weeks, the tingling actually did go away. And I was able to admit that, yes, it was stress. I was not taking good care of myself and I was completely out of alignment. So did that happen again? No, but I recognized I was on the same path. And if I didn't change, it would mean that I actually didn't learn anything from the last time this happened. And that was a pretty extreme lesson to learn. So what did I do? I took a break, I stepped away from creating content and I really focused on things like foundational healthy habits, morning walks, making more of my meals at home, a regular exercise routine. And these were really, really critical. But the other thing that I did is I gave myself space. And I mean, mental space to ask, what do I need to change? What are my stressors, both obvious and hidden stressors? And also, why was I out of alignment? What had happened and where did I end up versus where I want to be? And I think that's a really important question. Here's the thing about alignment. Sometimes it's obvious. We're going along a path and whoop, we swerve and we realize... Whoa, I'm off track. <laughs> but honestly, a lot of the times it's it's sneaky. You are going along a path and you don't realize you're one or two degrees off until you start ending up at a completely different destination. That is less obvious. And sometimes we don't realize until we look back and notice just how far, of course, we actually are. So I really had to reconnect with my values, with my purpose and with my why. And when you ask me about my why and my purpose, it all comes back to teaching. Honestly, that aha moment when it clicks, when people say, oh, I get it, that lights me up. That is the type of stuff that makes me excited to create content. And I'm happy to say that given the space, I am back there. I am reconnected with that purpose. I am excited to create new content with a, with a small twist, a small twist, not a big one. So what does that mean for my channel? Well, up until now, my channel has mostly been focused on creating more professional and engaging online presentations. And I still care about that. And I'm still going to talk about that. But what I recognized is that there are a lot of people out there who do not realize that they are doing virtual presentations all the time. They just don't think of it as a presentation. For example, think of the person who is pitching an idea, landing a sale, or trying to land a job through a remote interview. All of these people are presenting themselves and it matters how they come across, but they don't always think of themselves as doing a virtual presentation or an online presentation. So my mission is to reach more people and to help people understand that they have the ability to really stand out in a virtual environment. They can be like everyone else or they can leave a lasting positive impression. Seriously, I believe that people can connect through the camera and make it impossible to be ignored. Now that lights me up. That makes me excited to create new content. And that is what I plan to do. And I hope that you will come along for the ride with me.